everybody, I'm Kirk Apps and I'm a Canadian that's been living in China for over 18 years and I've seen democracy in the East, China, and I've seen democracy in the West. And I can tell you one thing, the whole process, people's democracy that they have here in China actually works. Where I have my doubts about the Western democracy, when you get politicians that have to get re-elected every four years or they lose their job, they spend a lot of time raising money for their re-election campaigns. Uh, during those time periods, they're not working for the citizens of their constituency in their country. They're not worrying about making the lives of these citizens better. What they're worried about is retaining their jobs. I see that the politics in the Western world actually divides the people. You get in the, into the United States and you've got about 50% Democrats and you've got 50% Republicans. So half of the country is not pleased with the government. In Canada, it's like 30%, 30%, and 20% with three different political parties. I thought democracy actually meant ruled by the majority of the people of that country. In China, basically a true democracy because over 90% of the people in this country back the government. Sure, there's not a whole bunch of political parties fighting each other to get into that government position in China, and I think that helps them build what you see behind me. They, they can build better libraries, they can build better hospitals, they can build better high-speed trains, they can, build, they can build better cities and uh, infrastructure all over the country. They can actually take care of the population of 1.4 billion people, where I doubt any democracy anywhere in the world could do that, other than the democracy here that they have in China. If you're a politician in China and uh, you don't solve the problems of the people, if you don't make the lives of the people that you represent better, chances are you won't have that job for very long. In the Western world, it's a little bit different. In the Western world, if you can get enough votes and your party gets in, or you get enough votes and you get in, uh, well, then you've got a job for another four years, whether you do a good job or a bad job. See, one of the things that I find really strange is in the Western world, the people come out and vote every four years. And then they go dormant. And Xi Jinping, in his last uh, speech to Congress, he stated this. He, you know, a true democracy is people actually being a part of the government, um, telling the government what they want and what they don't want, not just at election time, but all through every year, so that they, they, they participate. And I think that's where you get the whole process of the people's democracy those words whole process mean something through the whole process the people of China are involved in their governance and uh, it and you can see it you can see it on the streets you can see it in the buildings you can see it in well, look behind me you can see it in the the style of buildings you can see it in the parks you can see it in daily life that life in China is getting so much better you don't have the problems that they have in the Western world. And I think it's because the, the people in government spend 100% of their time dealing with the problems of China, fixing things, making China a better place to live, making it better for the people. In the West, it's not like that. Uh, look at Canada. They had an election. The Liberals got back in with about 32 or 33 percent of the popular vote. I don't know how that can be a democracy because it's not the majority rules. But uh, that was in September, and the Parliament doesn't go back in till November 22nd. So they got a couple months where they're doing absolutely nothing. In China, that wouldn't happen. 100 percent of the time, the government is at work making the world better in China. And uh, you can see it through how China grows, how the people's lives are getting better, how uh, the infrastructure is, is growing, how they actually make inroads with the Belt and Road Initiative around the world. They're, they're making partners in Africa, in the Middle East, the European Union, South and, South and Central America. All of these things is because the government doesn't take time off, the government doesn't have to go through elections every four years, and the politicians are actually made to do their jobs because they're responsible to the people of China. So when you're thinking that 
China doesn't have democracy, that China has, has some type of authoritarian government that uh, you hear the rhetoric in the mainstream media in the Western world and the politicians and whatever, you have to understand that they don't understand the type of democracy that China has. They only understand one form of democracy. They can't fathom another form of democracy and I think that's what you're seeing in China at this time.